Hello, this is Dr. Triple O Seven, and in this video we'll be showing you guys how to patch your Windows 8 machine for third-party themes. Now, for those of you that have watched my Windows 7 theme reviews, um, this is going to be very similar. It's the same in installation process, except there aren't many um, Windows 8 themes yet, so the themes I am showing you guys are very, very simple. But um, this is more of an opportunity, so now we can patch them, and then. As Windows 7 uh, grows, we'll have more and more themes for it. For those of you who do not know what third-party patching is, basically it's going to patch certain files in your computer so that you can have custom themes that will take over, you know, change your buttons, change the look, all that stuff. Like I said before though, as of right now, there aren't many themes and they don't take over a lot at all. So if you go ahead and down the file in the description below, you can get the Ultra UX Theme Patcher and go ahead and run it. Next, I agree. I agree again. And there we go. So now it's going to go through and does that. So it, I have already done it. So what you're going to have to do now is it's going to ask you if you want to install some uh, pro some toolbar, go ahead and uncheck all three. Right next on that, it's gonna patch it, and then it's gonna say you need to restart your computer. I've already done it, so you don't need to. I don't need to restart. So once it says you need to restart, um, restart your computer, and then follow this video. After you've restarted, you will notice there is no difference in your boot, um, no change in your boot time. These themes do not sl slow down your computer at all, and you should not notice anything different after you patch the computer. If you ever want to completely get rid of a third party theme, I will show you guys later how to do that too. And you can leave your computer patched because it actually doesn't do anything wrong to your computer. So now that we've uh, got our computer patched here, we're going to go ahead and install a theme. So installing a theme is pretty much the same for all themes, unless the theme installs itself. But for most cases, all you have to do is open up a pen like this, Open up your, your uh, go to computer here and open up the drive that has the Windows symbol there. From here, open up your Windows folder and then scroll down to the R section for your resources. Open that up and then you're going to open the themes up. And this is your themes. I've already have, I already added a couple, um, but it's pretty simple. All you got to do is open up one of these three. I will, show you, I will show you all three of them. All three of these folders are themes. So open it up. You're going to get the actual theme file and you get the folder that corresponds to it. So I'm going to look at this and drop it in there. I already have it in there, so I don't have to do that. But um, it's going to ask you administration, I'm going to click continue, and it'll just paste them all in there. Once it's in there, uh, all we'll do is we'll put them all in there first and then we'll apply them. So then you can go to the holo one or the hollow, take this one, copy it in there. Continue, and then the passion one, and right here is a font if you so choose. If not, then you can just copy them both in there. So now we have all of them in there. Um, you can exit out. You basically installed already, so now you have to go and apply it. So right click and go to personalize. And if you scroll down, you will see you have your themes right here by their name. So all you have to do to apply it is click it. So this is the first one called Brindle 8. Um, you can see it gives you a different look on just the border. So you get the black outline, you get the custom buttons here, and not, um, not, much, not much else has changed. Like I said, these themes are very basic right now. Obviously, um, this tutorial will be outdated, but the, the method will still work. It's just the themes will be much more advanced. So even if you're watching this a year later, then it's been released, um, you can still follow the tutorial, just you'll have better themes. So we have a custom wallpaper here. I'm not sure if we have two. Yeah, we have two of them, it looks like. But they're the same. All right, that makes, that makes no sense. Anyway, so 
you can see with the buttons here and that's about it for this theme the next theme I'll show you guys is the hollow one or the halo this one's a little bit different so you can see you have that, that blue feel to it your taskbar has like the blue uh, gradient almost the taskbar at the top here it also has the custom buttons here so if you like a blue light theme this is a great theme for you guys everything still works after the theme and because some of this might be new for, for some of you guys feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer all your questions on this one you guys can see the back and forward buttons also have been uh, modified so those gives you a little more of a blue feel to it too the last one I'm going to show you guys is the last one we installed which is the Passion 8 Passion 8 comes with a cool wallpaper and you can see it gives you a more of a uh, transparent bottom the button right here has been changed to just a one and it's more of a white and you have the highlights in blue so it kind of like um, minimizes your look to it kind of eliminates the borders it's a custom scroll button here with the custom outline yeah and that's about it guys so that is about it for this video and like I said though for any theme if you ever want to get rid of any theme it's very simple just right click go to personalize click Windows and boom you're back to your Windows 7 or Windows 8 default settings and you can do whatever you want so that's about it for this video if you have any questions um, about anything go ahead and leave it in the description below this is very safe um, as you see I had no problems at all you will have no problems also so if it does work for you guys and you do like the themes feel free to like it up I will be doing uh, more videos about theme reviews which um, a lot of you guys are subscribed for so don't worry I will be getting to those uh, Windows 8 theme reviews once Windows 8 has kind of settled in and we get more themes out there so anyways guys any questions feel free to ask and of course have a great day also, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter because I do often post pictures on Facebook and you can um, ask me questions on Twitter because I do have Twitter on my phone and I can just basically tweet you right back so it's a much faster response. Anyways, guys, that's about it. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.